Hi Capricorn and welcome to your monthly reading. This is your uh, May tarot reading. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your patience. I know these videos are very late this month. Um, we're already, <laughs> today's the 13th of May and this is your May video. So we've still got a couple of weeks to go for May. So time is fluid. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I just have been completely run off my feet. Um, for many, many reasons. It's not an excuse. I literally have about half a day off every week. Um, I don't really have a lot of spare time. So YouTube um, hasn't been a priority recently. But I will be making it up to you guys. I promise I'm getting these videos out um, today. And for you this month, Capricorn, the focus for you is the fifth house. The fifth house is the house of entertainment, desire, having fun. And I think you guys deserve to have some fun this month. I think it's time to actually put your foot down and say, I'm going on a holiday or I'm taking some time off. Because I feel at the moment, um, some of you are just literally running yourself into the ground. Um, there are a lot of, um, there's no planets in the 12th house at the moment where you're sitting, where you're situated. Um, but it is at the moment as I'm doing this video, um, it's Capricorn in the first house. It's Capricorn rising. So I also feel really strongly here in the 12th house, this is, you know, sort of a time for you to sort of take out the skeletons from the, cop from the, from the closet. Things have been locked up for a very, very long time. And now it's time to get the key, find the master key, open the door and let loose um, because you have been sort of locked up for a really long time. Um, 12th house is about institutions. It's about hospitals, jails, um, anything to do with, you know, being restricted or being hidden. You know, you may feel like you've been hidden from the rest of the world, um, really, in many, many ways. So that would be my advice uh, regarding your reading this month. Um, you know, start stepping out of, of, of the cupboard, um, coming out of the closet, so to speak. Um, but also the 12th house is... Um, you know, can be a, a house of shadow. So it could also be a time for you to voice something that you've needed to for a very long time or, you know, say something to someone that you've been putting off. Um, that is also another energy that could be coming through for you this month. But the focus is the fifth house, which is five houses um, because the sun is still in Taurus. And that means it's um, five houses away from Taurus around the wheel. And that is five houses away. So you're um, focus this month is the fifth house, which is the house of fun, entertainment, focusing on what you love to do. All right, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. I hope you enjoy it. Um, remember, this is a collective reading. It's not a personal reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What do my beautiful Capricorns need to know for the rest of May? Or may have been picking up energy of what's been happening in May. Until we go move into Gemini season. Let's look into this. Angel Spirits Guides. What do my beautiful Capricorns need to know for the month of May? Okay, we've got two here. I'm going to take the one on the bottom. Seven of Pentacles. Yep, yeah, time to reassess. Material wealth. Um, Saturn in Taurus. Saturn is your ruling planet and we are still in Taurus season. So this is a this is a lesson about money. This is a lesson about you know, you know what it's like to have nothing and you know what it's like to have a lot. But now it's time to reassess. It's time to look at that tree, look at that money tree. What's in the bank? What are you making? What's your house worth? Can you take a holiday? What does this look like? That's the first card that's coming out at the top of your reading. Then we have the Ace of Swords, okay, working on your mental health. Aces are about new beginnings, but swords are working on a uh, swords are your mental or uh, communication, your mind, but aces are, are the self, and aces are also new beginnings. So I feel like a lot of you here as well could be looking at reassessing where you're at um, from a mental health perspective. The hanged man, you're just hanging there right now. You haven't actually made any moves, but what this will do is give you a new perspective. Okay, this is all about turning it upside down. This is about standing up for what you want, not just copying it. You know, this is an energy of, um, you know, turning a, turning it upside down as in the hanged man. You know, it's an inverted crucifix, but it's an energy of um, your higher consciousness. You know, yogis, they stand on their head, so all the blood rushes to their head so they can be illuminated, so they can have a, a higher sense of self. 
And if you do this or take the time to stand on your head for a bit, maybe give that a go, you know, let the blood rush to your head for a change instead of sort of, uh, you know, being absorbed into the earth beneath you. Um, it starts sort of get that blood pumping again. But the hanged man is an energy of suspension um, at the moment. King of Swords, big decision, mastermind. Dealing with someone in authority, having to have a conversation with someone. Two of Cups, this is a marriage, some sort of partnership here. Um, connection that you're having with someone. Um, time to reassess, time to reunite with those you love. Venus in Cancer, that's what this card is, Venus in Cancer. And um, I believe... Uh, Venus is in Cancer as we speak and it is an energy of unity, love, appreciation, um, connectivity, you know, seeing eye to eye with someone on an emotional level. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, another ace, uh, new job opportunity um, could be potentially here. Um, if you're thinking about changing or moving or starting over or planting a new seed in another business or doing something here that will give you a sense of reset, um, that's really important. Ace of Pentacles as well is a golden opportunity. There's something here or a window or something that's opened here that's going to give you an out. It's going to give you an opportunity to start something new, plant a new seed, look for a new job, or even just working on your health uh, because earth energy is also about well, uh, sorry, health. It's health and wealth, okay, earth energy. Um, you, you know, Capricorns love money. They love status. They love reputation. They love being CEO kind of energy, the leader, you know, the goat. Um, unrelent, you know, it's relentless energy. It just doesn't give up. It just keeps going and going and going. Um, but, you know, everybody has limits. And I feel like here there's a beautiful energy of some sort of reset happening for you, a divine blessing. Um, it's really exciting, like King of Swords, Big Decision, uh, relationships here and a, and a new opportunity. I'm going to pull four cards underneath and that's sort of going to give me the foundation of your reading. You've got the Seven of Cups. This is opportunity, illusional success, uh, illusory. Something here is all that glitters is not necessarily golden. Then you've got the Death card. Now, death can be someone maybe passing soon, someone you know, um, you know, maybe someone elderly, um, but it generally it's it's a card of transition. It's a card of transformation, going from cocoon to butterfly. You know, you've been wrapped up for far too long. Time to spread your wings. Time to enjoy. Time to enjoy the fresh air and and live your life. You know, all work and no play makes Capricorn a dull person. Then you have Six of Pentacles. So this is Moon in Taurus. This is about being generous. Um, you know, you know what it's like to have nothing. You know what it's like to, you know, be abundant. And you've got six of pentacles here and you've got seven of pentacles at the top of the reading. So six is here is about charity, you know, um, you know, allowing other people some, some, you know, some of your earnings or your joy or whatever it is. Like it's a, it's just a currency. It may not necessarily even be money. It could just be your time. It could be um, something of that nature that you've invested in. You know, here, I'm going to give you some of this because I've made it, or I'm going to share, you know, the distribution of wealth. And then the outcome, or the last card here is Knight of Pentacles, which is again, a new pathway. You haven't made any moves yet. But the word yet is kind of, I think, key to this reading. Bottom of the deck is the overarching energy. Wow, you've got the six of um, swords. This is transition. This is a rite of passage. Uh, this could also be like a trip, like going overseas, like water, crossing water. Um, but again, you know, sixes are about recovery. You're coming out of a five energy, which is combative and tiring, and t it tests you, it pushes you. Um, and it's exhausting, but the six is good and six of swords as well in particular. It means, you know, the six is a recovery, but the sword is, you know, again, mental. So I feel like you're smooth sailing now, okay? Moving into Gemini energy, moving into Gemini season, you're going to be able to take your foot off the gas a little bit, I think. Let's clarify it. With the split. Uh, yeah, you have the Five of Swords. Wow, you got the Five of Swords clarifying the Six of Swords. So Fives are Mars energy once again. Um, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. Um, there could be uh, something here that you're cutting away from. 
redundant conversations, something you've been talking about with someone over and over and it just, the penny's not dropping and the penny will only drop until something changes because as the saying goes, nothing changes if nothing changes. So I feel really strongly here that there's going to be a, a recovery for you here. There's going to be a rite of passage that you're going to be experiencing, crossing over water, making yourself feel like oh, smooth sailing now. You know, I don't have to do everything anymore um, because you're cutting away here. You're, you're making some decisions to cut. And that is you're cutting to create new room for new growth. You know, you can't get new roses unless you prune that bush right back, you know, and start over. It's like, okay, I'm just going to cut right back here and I'm going to, you know, create some new opportunities for myself or for those around me um, just to sort of cross cross the water here because there's an emotional sort of journey that you've been on for a very long time and it's been turbulent. It's been disappointing. People have let you down because um, the five of cups energy uh, or the five of swords energy is coming before that. Um, five to a six, it's kind of... It's clarifying the six, which is very progressive because it's you're going from the five of swords to the six of swords. So it's just it's it's very back to back right now. That's kind of the energy. Everything's kind of very 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 back to back. Um, but overall, as I said, it's smooth sailing. Six is a great number. Six is the heart of Tiferet, which is the heart of the Kabbalah, and it's where the sun hangs out. It's where you know ascended masters and and that sort of thing it's it's a beautiful energy it's the any energy of beauty it's the energy of you know where your time to shine essentially it's your time to shine it's your time to sit back and smell the roses for a change let's get into the top to bottom um as i said the seven of pentacles is at the top of your reading seven of pentacles is a, it sevens are about reassessment looking at um lessons learned saturn in taurus what have you learned about money recently? What have you understood about the value of money? Um, you know, is it something that you feel like you're always being left out in the cold? Is it something that you feel comfortable that you you're comfortable with? Um, you know, you you've obviously, as I said, felt both sides of the fence. You've you've had a lot, and you've also had nothing. So you are in a very grounded, sort of victorious position to then sit back now and do a bit of reassessment just look at everything and think do i really need this do i really want this you know um what do i need what do i really need to do to get what i want or you know do i really need any of this do i just want to spring clean and start over or you know just reduce what i have um, around me in terms of material possessions because it's about materialism as well i mean you you know you guys are that's your MO. It's it's about living in the material world. How much you've got, what's your house worth, you know, your car, material wealth is very important to a Capricorn. But, you know, I feel as well there has been an energy here of burnout. It's looming and um, money makes the world go round, but you can't go around the world if you don't have any money and you don't have your health. So again, it's that health and wealth. Ace of Swords next to the Hanged Man. It's time to, you know, work on the self. It's time to, you know, not be a martyr because the hanged man is essentially a sacrifice. But the ace of swords is your mental health, but it's also an ace. So it's singular. It's working on the self. It's a new beginning. It's like you don't have to, you know, kill yourself to get the job done. It's about a reset button and a new perspective because it's an inverted crucifix. It's like looking at life from a different perspective. So surrender to the universe's you know path for you um stop denying yourself that bit of joy that bit of happiness that you deserve because at the end of the day nobody gives medals out they just don't you you might even find yourself going through uh, a part of your life now where you're just not getting the recognition you deserve you know it's good to get a pat on the back but what is where is it all going long term so, yeah, have a think about that. Um, center of your reading, you have a King of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So for me as a trinity, I would be reading this as big decisions coming up, especially when it comes to relationships, partnerships, Venus in Cancer. What brings you love? You know, who gives you love? Um, or is it now time to look at self-love? You know, that sort of thing. But Two of Cups is a beautiful energy. It, it's usually partnership, marriage. Um, any kind of connection that you have emotionally with someone. 
But I also see here there's an Ace of Pentacles, and that's about new opportunity, a new beginning, uh, new earth, new house, new job, new health regime. Those are the top three for an Ace of Pentacles. Um, so have a think about that too. Um, you know, the more we balance health and wealth, you know, the better off we are. If we're just focusing on one or the other, you know, it's not balanced. But Ace of Pentacles as well is definitely a, a divine gift. It's an opportunity that someone's handing to you. It's, you know, putting it out there and sort of saying, okay, I've got you. I've got your back. I'm going to give you, you know, a gold star or an op a, someone's going to open a window here. Okay. There's an opportunity looming. Or if you're proactively looking for something, you're going to get what you want, basically. The bottom row is your foundational cards. So we've got Seven of Cups, Death, Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups is, again, sevens are about reassessment. So you're reassessing money, but then at the bottom of the reading, the foundation, what's kind of holding it, you know, your two feet on the ground, are Cups energy, and that's your emotions. But I feel with the Seven of Cups, you've, you're in the dark. Okay, you've got lots of opportunities in front of you, but they're all on a cloud and they can seem a little bit confusing. You know, which cup do I take? What do I do next? Where should I go? You know, what's most important to me right now? So if you do get a, a carrot or something dangled in front of you there, just sleep on it. You know, all that glitters is not necessarily golden. And sometimes we just have to be a little bit more discerning about, you know, just because it looks like it can you know give us a form of instant gratification um doesn't mean it's going to go the distance so just bear that in mind then you've got the death card which again can indicate um someone passing uh this month or next month perhaps but also um it's transform uh, transformation so you're going through a rebirth here um shedding old skin making way for new it's like a snake you know uh, getting ready to regenerate your, what we call your kundalini, your uh, life force energy. Then you've got your six of pentacles, which is about distribution of wealth, being charitable, sort of saying, here you go, you can have this. I don't really need this. I don't need that much or whatever that looks like. Being charitable um, essentially is what six of pentacles is. And it's very balanced. You know, it's very sort of harmonious energy. It's like moon in moon in Taurus. It's reflective. You, you're in a very sort of sweet spot at the moment where you can reflect. You can sort of sit down and go, okay, I want to shine some light on this area of my finances. Or I want to shine some light on what I love doing. Because not forgetting, this month is a focus on not just money and work, but it's like what you enjoy. It's what you what you should be doing, how you should be enjoying your time in the fifth house, movies, sports having dinner, doing, going for walks, doing what you love doing, bringing yourself joy, desire. Okay. That's what it's about. Desire. And then the final card here is Knight of Pentacles. Knights are about pathways and you're stationary at the moment. The gun hasn't gone off, but when it does, that horse is going to bolt. And, but at the moment you've just got a concept and you're looking at it in the palm of your hand and you're kind of going, what do I do with this? Hmm. What does this look like? And you will plan it out and you won't make any moves until you've planned it out. But I do see you planning something here and it is a new opportunity or something here where you can cross over water. It's a rite of passage. You've earned this and it's yours for the taking. Uh, okay, so Capricorn, that's your May reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for your patience. I'm sorry I've been a bit um, slack on YouTube and with many other things, I'm just... Again, uh, thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm, gets Google happening, gets people to know that I exist. I really um, appreciate that. It costs you nothing. Um, and also, if you want, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the reading and whether or not any of this made sense. If you'd like a book of personal reading um, and further any of these messages that may or may not resonate with you, check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. I only see people face-to-face -face at events. So if you live in Victoria or New South Wales and you visit my website, have a look at where I'm touring. If you find me there, you can meet me face-to-face. -face. If not, zoom, zoom, baby. Until next time, I will be doing June readings sooner than later. Uh, don't you worry about that. So they'll be coming out um, in the next 10 days. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye Capricorn.